Warping to Kakariko. Again. Why? Why? For laughs this time, of course. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. What we're really gonna do this part is progress in the game by going to the next dungeon. The reason why is because I'm tired of worrying about having 300 rupees to pay off the cannon guy to fix my cannon. And yeah, I would also increase the variety in the parts rather than have a bunch, well, I should say having too many side quest parts in a row. Uh, I'd also like to show this because I keep forgetting to show it off. He's got a bonsai bill on his sleeve there, which is nice. Uh, did not mean to do that, which is a nice throwback to Mario. Or I should say a nice reference to Mario. Hey, what's up, home guy? Yeah, I said home guy. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> yes, it is. Needless to say, this guy is quite the canon enthusiast. Eh, but sure, what the heck. And this is what we need the 300 rupees for, because the cannon is broke down. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> no poo. And there it is. <laughs> There's always some cost involved. Alright, let's let him fix it up. <laughs> this guy's so silly. And with the magic of time-lapse video editing, the cannon is now fixed. Ah, uh, she is beautiful. And much cleaner, too. <laughs> awesome. I think. <laughs> He's hinting at where the cannon is going to shoot you to. Well, I, I guess that's okay. I mean, you did fix the cannon. You aren't as demanding as someone like Tingle. Oh, jeez. That guy just saps rupees right out of your wallet. <laughs> so anyway, around back of the cannon here, you'll notice that there is a little claw shot target there. What happens if we were to do something like this? <laughs> She's back! once again and following us and the cannon is apparently a cannon robot chicken duck thing or whatever the heck it is <laughs> to the heavens we go and this is the next dungeon known as the city in the sky good thing there was water here otherwise I could have been a painful landing Well, she floats like a duck. <laughs> Woohoo! We finally made it to the sky! What? Oh! Poop! Well, that dragon might be a problem. Do you hear him all panicking? Panic, 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 panic! I can't understand your language. <laughs> uh... No! Really? <laughs> Alright, I guess we should go to the shop first and check out the place. Oh, and I should probably get my iron boots out as well. Just before... You'll see why in a minute. I guess you won't see why. <laughs> I was expecting it to kick up. The, this outdoor area is kind of windy at places and it can push you off the edge. And here we are at the shop! Um, an actual shop in a dungeon. It's kind of unique in that way. And there's some cannons that you could buy. No, actually you can't buy those cannons, but they are uh, Uka shaped. <laughs> Let's talk to the shopkeep first. Uh, I can't understand that. Why did you decide to use the Wingdings font? Uh, I... maybe? <laughs> no, I'm sorry I didn't, but let's check out your wares. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any of these things, I've got plenty. 
I will! Oh, 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 look who it is! I think you know what's coming! <laughs> uh, I guess I, I'll, I'll forgive you. You're quite helpful, you know, like, when I need to stop recording and stuff like that. You're, you're good as a checkpoint. <laughs> Yep! We once again have our friendly neighborhood item. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know how to use her by now. And outside we go. There's a couple of treasure chests that you don't want to miss in the water. That you'll also need your iron boots out to get. I'm not going to bother getting out the uh, tunic though. It's kind of overkill when the water is just, you know, this shallow. And whoop. chest number one contains a red rupee and my wallet is already filling back up <laughs> never really have to worry about money in this game unless you're worried about like spending too much of it or something <laughs> at one time and water bombs. I guess that's kind of handy. And back to the surface. Over here, um, once I get out of the water, you'll see that there is another cannon that you can use to get yourself back to the ground if you would like to. It functions as sort of. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the wind that I'm worried about. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I just kept running. So that's like the exit to the dungeon if you need it. This is a dead end. I, I, it looks like that they... Like something broke off of here. Because if, if you look at the map, it's like the only uh, side that looks, you know, off compared to the rest of them. Anyway, moving on. Oh, dang, I want to be the guy trickery. <laughs> Wait for the wind to stop. And I'm going to shoot the switch up there. Boop. And that opens that door. Oh, that's not fair! <laughs> I was in the middle of a cutscene. How dare you bite me? Oh, and I guess this is here when they're gonna decide to tell us the name of the dungeon. It's kind of obvious in the name of it. <laughs> it's like the name states exactly what kind of place this is and is the name of the dungeon. I wonder what would happen if the engines to those propellers under there just decided to conk out. What, what, what would this city do anyway? Would it just like have to fall to the ground? Or would it be able to... I mean, would they be able to fix the engines in time? <laughs> I don't think they would be able to fix the engines in time. Or maybe it's floating on magical energy. Uh, these blue blocks, they fall! So look out for that. Yeah, they fall actually quite slowly, so they aren't quite as haphazard as they seem when you first touch them. Um, you can't really talk to the Ukos in this area, or I mean, uh, Ukas, excuse me, but you can pick them up and use them to fly! <laughs> and this is one of the gimmicks of the dungeon, is Uka flying. Oh jeez. Oh no, I... I'm sorry. Oh wait, you're safe, okay. <laughs> and I'll knock you off the edge, just because. No, I can't, can I? It's too bad. Can you run yourself off the edge, though? Or can I knock you off the edge? Ha ha! <laughs> you have met your match. <laughs> it literally went down. All right, let's go. Grab this. Flop myself over here. Oh, and you can also tell that they seem to have like some sort of telekinetic powers because they're able to like walk on walls and stuff like that. Anyway, grab one with your claw shot, I love doing that. And fly over! Maybe that's how the Uka managed to like build this... Bleh, managed to build this place, or the cannons and stuff like that, or help build it with someone else. Probably the Hylians, because they seem to have a connection to the Hylians and stuff like that. You know, they use their telekinetic powers. I mean, they don't have hands. They're kind of like unicorns in that way, in that, in that they use their magic to pick up and do things with it. Oh yeah, I had to make that reference. <laughs> and I don't actually, what am I bothering to kill these guys for? I don't think they actually give you anything once you kill them all off. I guess we'll see if a treasure chest appears or something. Nah, I guess not. And I didn't see any on the way here, so eh, let's just move on. Move on and groove on. 
And we got our a new enemy here, which is really not all that new. This is a Helmosaurus. It's it's just like the Helmosaur, except it's it's a lot larger. And it's just as easy to defeat, it's just larger. <laughs> just hop to the side as it charges to you, and it's actually kind of a lot slower too. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> um I don't think I think this is a dead end actually if I go through this door. In fact, I think all the the rooms over there are dead ends if I just take the linear path. That's like a central hub of sorts. Yeah, I don't I don't think this thing has anything just yet and I got to get these uh propellers here running. I'll, I'll do that much much later in the dungeon. Um oh Maybe there's something up here. Because you can grab onto the grating there. I don't, I don't think there is, though. No. So I'm just missing it somewhere. I guess I'll know for sure once I get the, the compass. <laughs> the compass knows all. It's kind of surprising that a compass would be able to, you know, detect where the treasures are in a dungeon and stuff like that. Um... I think I'm actually looking for a window to be able to, to get out of here. Because I don't think the... Oh, there it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Go up here. Because the other ones all lead to dead ends. <laughs> and you go through here. And this takes you on the outside. Of which... Can I just, like, jump down there? Yeah, it seems safe to drop down there. Okay. Mm, oh, 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 I think you know what to do here, but first I'm going to break some pots. Spinner! We're back to the Arbiter's Grounds! <laughs> B button, B button, button mash, button mash! And makes a bridge appear. That's for another path. I think it's the uh, right path, actually. I can't get through there right now anyway. It's at least I don't think I can by memory. My memory better not be failing me this time. <laughs> Alright, from here I'm going to uh, maybe I can't make that jump from here. How do I get over there? Maybe I need the assistance of my Uka buddies here? Like where can I Oh wait, wait here? Maybe? Can I make it? I think I can make this! Yeah, I can make that. I can make it with flying colors. Is that such a saying? Making something with flying colors? Well, I suppose. It's like Rainbow Dash or something. <laughs> Alright, I think this is where the bridge was made, actually. Yeah, this is it. Is there anything over... I keep locking on this stuff I don't want to lock on to. Wait, could I have made... Oh, I could have claw shotted over here from the other side. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> Safe! <laughs> Good thing for the... Well, the winds died down anyway. Good thing for the pause in your inventory screen. If that was done in real time, I would have been screwed. Alrighty. And... Oh, this room. I always forget how to get through this room, or how to get this room spoils. Uh, you'll notice that it's got a structure indicating that it's uh, rebarb, like inside uh, cement and stuff like that. For added structure. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> I know I can make that jump, but... I don't remember how I want to do this. <laughs> do I just like... No, 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 wait, wait, wait! I thought I had this out. Oh! I'm glad I canceled that quick enough, otherwise I would have spun myself right off the edge. Key or map? Key or map? It's a key! Mm, I could probably... Yep! Use the rebarb to get to the other side. Whoop! Because I don't think I can do anything over whoa, over here at the moment. I need the dungeon item to explore that a little, a little bit further, as well as hitting my face into the wall. That always helps. 
that's bound to happen if you always roll from location to location. It just happens. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I mean, I would say... I mean, I mean, people can say to play better, but it's just gonna happen. <laughs> no matter how good you are, you're gonna hit your face into the wall every once in a while. And, oh, what is this? Cutscene? I, what? Oh, 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 forgot about this. Well, thanks a lot. That's not going to help me. And that's pretty much the idea of his uh, rampant destruction. So now we can't go back there anyway. Doesn't really matter at this point. I'll be able to get back to that uh, section a little bit later once I get the dungeon item. The dungeon item is really cool, by the way. I'm looking forward to getting that. Here, let's shimmy ourselves. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to press down. I must have been holding left down or something like that, and when the camera shifted, it screwed me. <laughs> let's go to this one instead. Right only. Please, Link, thank you. All right. And now we go over here. This one's a lot safer to get to than the other one. Hmm. This place must have automatic doors or something. I mean, it just seems to... Well, or maybe not. The camera just flips to the other side, but it also closes on its own. That's what I mean about it being sort of automatic. <laughs> and more gears. A war. No, not really. <laughs> this is for another bridge, by the way. Mash that button. There we go. Fixed. What's the point of these bridges anyway? It's not like it's gonna protect them from intruders or something like that. I mean, there is already a Helmosaurus on the other side of the bridge, and then there's enemies on the uh, side of these bridges, so it's like, what's the point of them? It's definitely not gonna protect them against dragons or, or card rocks. I mean, they fly over everything. <laughs> it just seems inconvenient, if you ask me. Uh, oh. Uh... I think I'm gonna end off the part here, actually, and then, yeah, because I'm, I don't want to make the parts too long again. I've been making way, 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 way too long of parts, so yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Do this room in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.